So, I know it's been four, five years since we've talked, really. <laughs> You're in high school. You, um, you have a couple friends, you know? You, you're, you're pretty depressed right now. I know that about you. You, um, you like to do art, of course. You still like to do art. And you, you like drama club, of course you do. And, you know, you're... Your grades are great. Um, and you just started college classes. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen you. And... I know that we haven't always been on the best terms when it comes to agreeing on self-esteem and on what we want to do for the rest of our life and on if we love or hate our parents and how we feel about our friends, how we feel about every issue pretty much in the world. Um, but. I'm really happy to know you again, and I just wanted to, um, really, I just, I wanted to apologize for everything. I wanted to apologize specifically for making you feel like you were ugly, that you were stupid, that you were incapable of going far in life. I want to apologize for not getting you help sooner. I want to apologize for not letting you take any risks, not letting you you know, have any self-esteem at all, I want to apologize for really just holding you back. I am so sorry. I am so, so sorry that I have hurt you in this way. <sighs> and I know that it's been four years and you are almost 18 years old. But you're going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I know that you probably think, oh, you know, well, we must be a graphic designer now. We must be an artist. We must be something, a writer, something, anything. Um, we aren't. I haven't done anything for you yet. This entire four years, the only thing that, that we have done is struggle. And I am so sorry that I have wasted your body and your time on, on my side, on my struggling. Because at this point, it's not looking good for either of us. And I know that you probably think I'm a failure because I didn't go to art school or because I didn't go to <sighs> go to college, go to a university. I know I feel like a failure. Don't worry. I understand. I just 
regret treating you so badly. I regret telling you every day of your life that you were ugly and that you were stupid. And that you would never find anyone to love you. And even though it hasn't happened, I know it's not true. I know it's not true. I know that one day I could find someone, we could find someone, and that's it's a very real possibility. The issue of, you know, living situations right now, I know that you, you want to leave. You've been there for so long and you hated it, and I'm so sorry. I wish I could have helped you. I wish I could have been an outsider. And, and got you help and got you the support you needed <sighs> but the living situation is slightly better than it was well a lot better um so don't worry about that but mentally <sighs> mentally we are not in a good place right now And I'm not sure where to go from here. If I could talk to you, if I could ask you for advice, if I could, if I could just hug you and um, just have someone who understands. I'm so sorry, again, <laughs> that I uh, held you back, really, with all these ridiculous thoughts at first, um, you were ugly, and you, you know, you didn't deserve love, and because you do, you absolutely do. Um, I know it sounds really vain, but I love you. If no one else does. Because I am you, so. Yeah. I wish I could say that we are going to be okay. Really wish I could. But right now, I don't know. I don't know any more than you know. Anyway, yeah, that's all I really have to say right now. I got that off my chest.